We are just months away from the Flash hitting the big screen or being delayed once again. Who knows? This movie may or may not ever come out. We're going to find out. Hey, everyone. This is Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate the view, the watch, the listen. If you're new to the channel, please give us a subscribe. We talk all things, all things that we want to talk about, that you want to talk about. We just talk about Hulk smash that like button. Let's get right into it. The Flash is coming out in June, supposedly. All emphasis on Michael Keaton and Supergirl. And that's what you want when you got Ezra Miller as your lead. Let's get right into this though. However, according from Scooper, KC Walsh, there's been another test screening of The Flash. Now they're going to show this at CinemaCon in just about a week or so. But this is the new version of this movie. James Gunn, Peter Safran, now in charge of DC Studios. And this is what KC Walsh has heard. The film is complete and the ending has been changed. It's more of a vague cameo and it is not what you think either. So there's a cameo at the end of the movie but it's not a cameo from a hero that you think so. Take Superman and Batman off the table. It's probably Swamp Thing. Let's be honest here <laughs> or it's a Creature Commando. It's Frank Grillo Flag C- Sr. Uh, Speed Force cameos galore including a CW connection in a dream cameo and apparently this is the one that will be what everybody is talking about. Uh, for me dreams are whatever and, and then this next one refutes that and that's the Zack Snyder Justice League references appear to be removed this goes hand in hand like this I, I love the Zack Snyder Justice League I think that should be the canonical film however they've come out and said multiple times that that is not the case that the, the the Justice League version is actually the canonical version of the movie which sucks and stinks but that's reality and that's what it is and that's what they're going to do and they're going to ultimately be booting it anyway right that they're getting rid of all the Zack Snyder stuff so I guess it doesn't even really matter uh, and apparently there in this cut there was no post credit scene at all and Supergirl has been removed from the ending of the film not to say that she can't show up in a post credit scene and James Gunn one of the movies on this new DCU slate is Supergirl and the art that's always been associated with this new Supergirl not the, I mean it's only been a couple months but the art has not looked anything like Sasha Kaye so uh, we're gonna find out what's going on here we still have a couple months to go they're gonna screen this movie I mean if this movie is a huge hit and a big success and everybody loves the cast aside from Ezra Miller how do you replace how do you replace Supergirl right we'll find out we're gonna find out they have a plan we'll see if the plan is coming to fruition um people seem to love this movie people seem to love this movie so much so that the uh, rumors are that Andy Muschietti will be directing Batman Brave and the Bold we'll find out what do you guys think of this new Flash news let me know in the comments down below and until next time may you be the master of your own universe